every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high, tell them. Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. As I last told you guys in my previous video, I am going to be traveling somewhere. I'm going to go to South Carolina. I'm going to go see my good friends. So what we're going to do today is we are going to pack together just like how we did for our Austin trip except don't worry in this video we will not be rushing. So enough of me rambling. We got the suitcase. Let's prop it open in the bed. So we got the suitcase propped open. We got a lot of storage compartment. We got this, and then we have this. I guess here you could do underwear or shoes. We'll see what I end up doing. I'm gonna be there for a total of a week. Let's plan accordingly. But before we do that, the most important thing about going anywhere on a trip is looking at the weather. Okay, it's gonna get hot. So Friday, the hottest is gonna be 71, and it's gonna get cold to about 54. So, this is not like the summer yet. The weather over there is not hot, as you guys can see, because to me, 71 can be cold. So, we're gonna pack mostly not too cold, like not, it's not like New York in December, but just long sleeves and jackets, stuff like that. Um, because Saturday is going to be 60. That's the hottest. So 60 and then it's going to be 55 is the cold. This Sunday is going to be 72. Monday is going to be 77. And then as the week goes on, it'll be hotter because it's going to go up to 88. So that's going to be pretty hot. So I guess we can try to do both. We can try to pack. No, you know what we should do? We should just pack all kind of summer clothing and then just pack a jacket or two or three. Alright y'all, so what I'm going to do is pick out a couple of outfits and get some inspo and then we can go from there. I can try on the clothes and then we can decipher what I want. Maybe, yes, snow piles, you know, all that stuff. If you guys haven't seen my Sheen haul, check it out. Y'all saw that I bought a lot of new clothes, so hopefully I can take those with me too because those were cute. Okay, so I bought this shirt at Target the other day and I'm thinking maybe I could wear this to the airport because I don't know about y'all, but... I'm not that person who just wants to look super fly and cute when I'm at the airport. I'm trying to relax, okay? I'm trying to get no attention and just look cozy. So I might wear this with some leggings because it's going to be cold. Yeah, it's going to be cold. Or, or, or I could do jeans, but that's going to be uncomfortable. I might do leggings. We'll see. So I think this is the shirt I want to wear for the airport. So I'm going to put that over there. I think I want to wear this shirt with something. For this I just got to figure out the outfit and this is a maybe so let's put this let's put this out okay y'all know I love this shirt I've worn this a couple times I want to try this on because it's super cute try that on y'all know I love these baggy jeans I wore these to my trip to Austin but these are I love these okay so let's try to see what we can do with these maybe this I've never worn this one before maybe this white top I think it's a little see-through, but I'm just trying to make it work. We're for sure going to need a swimsuit. I only want to do one just because I don't know how cold it'll be, even though I know I said 80s, but you never know. So we're going to pick out a swimsuit and a, like, cover-up for that. And I want to do a dress, something hot. Something hot. Okay, so I'm definitely going to take my OG. Y'all know this, like, come on now. Come on now. This is my OG. Like, this is my baby. I take this everywhere. This is my, I guess, fuzzy, fuzzy jacket. I love this. I don't know if you guys can really see the fuzziness on camera, but this is my baby. My baby, this baby always goes with me everywhere I go. So, I will most likely wear this to the airport. I may take this dress. I wore this dress one time. Oh. I wore this dress one time on my birthday, but this was when I was really, really going through it with my health. So, there's really no pictures out there with it, so this could be cute, and it's super, super long, and it's long sleeve. Oh my god, I just got a dirty. Oh, I need to stop swinging things. God damn. So I can try that dress on. That's one option. I might take two dresses. It might be like too much, but eh. Y'all know I'm extra. Okay, I want to try this fit on. I'm thinking this with a shirt. In a skirt or some leather like leather pants or something like that. I can see the vision with this. So let's put this. Okay, I'm thinking about this as wearing this on a chill day. I'm thinking about these and the other part of the set. I'm thinking about it. 
All right, what about this sexy black dress? It's super sexy. So we can try this on. It's so sexy. I want to try a sundress, just like a basic sun. You know, I like my sundresses. Just one sundress I could be. Mm. Thinking either I could do this sundress or I could do. I know it looks wrinkled, but once you put it on your body, it's not wrinkled anymore. So let's try both of these on. I'm gonna only take one. One of the days, I want to wear something cute and just flowy. And I had a great outfit in spo, so I feel like I'm definitely gonna take this this combo right here because I tried it on. I thought it was super cute, so I might take this. And then I have this white tank top that I could just wear with something else if I decide not to wear the skirt. So I'm gonna take this one for sure. We got a couple of sexy tops. This literally looks like a scarf, but trust me, we can make it work. Oh, this top was super cute. I'm gonna try this one on. This top is cute. For one of the hot days, I could maybe wear these shorts and one of these little tanks, maybe both. Oh, I've worn this shirt before, so I'm not sure. This was when I was really, really sick so i don't know if it's gonna fit anymore but we can try it you know going through my wardrobe i feel like i'm basic like what's going on man what's going on i'm thinking maybe i take this one out but we'll see i'm gonna try it on with you guys to see because i know you guys know that when i tried this one on for the sheen haul it's a lot of boobage but we'll see all right now i just need to pick out one swimsuit okay y'all one swimsuit should i take two if I take two and don't go to the beach at all, I'm going to be, I'm not upset, but it's just going to be dang, like dang. So we have, we do a white swimsuit, and no, I'm not going to try on the swimsuits, guys. I'm not. Oh, I like these jeans. I mean, I like these shorts. Definitely want to take these shorts. This is like a two-piece set for, I would say for the beach. I, yeah, I don't have to use it for the beach, but I mean, <laughs> I would recommend use it for the beach. Dang, I got a lot of je a lot of short options. These are cute too. Oh, you could do black on black on black. You could do a white swimsuit. All right, you guys. So this is the mountain of clothes that I decided to try on. All right, so this is the first one I decided to try on. Honestly, I feel the same way I felt about it when I tried it on for the first time. I'm just not ready for this yet. It's a lot of boobage and it's enough. All right, what do we think about this? I'm not saying that this top is gonna go with these shorts. I'm just trying on the shorts and then we're gonna try on all the shorts with the shirt to see which shorts I'm gonna take. I think I wanna take two. I like these because these are safe in the back and you don't see your butt. So I like that, it covers everything. Now this shirt I'm 50-50 about. I like it, but I don't know. I'm 50-50 about it. What do you guys think? I think I will take it just because I don't even have a lot of shirts that I picked out. So, I might take it. I don't know. So, I put the other shorts in the maybe pile. We have these other shorts. These one are a little more cheeky. So, you guys can see. This one's also a maybe. I don't know. Actually, I think I will take these. I'll take these because these are really cute. I'll take these. Now, these shorts right here don't really do too much for your butt. But I love how they're high rise. So, they hide my stomach. So, the only thing about the other ones that I like is that those are a lighter wash. So, if I pick this one and the other ones, that means that they're both going to be dark wash. There's really no difference there, really. But if I pick the other ones, then it's a light wash. So I can I have more options, really. I don't know. Okay, now this little combo right here is super cute. I think I'll take these. I love them a lot when I got them at Walmart. But I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. But it's still cute. I think, I think it's doable. It's still cute. So I think I'm going to take both of these. Now with the sundress, it's between this one that I showed you guys, this purple one, or we could do the light brown one. I like both. I don't know. I think the other one definitely gets more attention. I may go with the purple one. I'm not going to lie. But this one... If I had enough space in my suitcase, I would I would also include it, knowing I probably wouldn't wear it, <laughs> but hey. Then we have this dress. This dress is for Fashion Nova. I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't know. Going out late at night or something. No. It's going to be cold. It's going to be set, and it goes all the way to the bottom. Should I? Should I not? I feel like I have more of, like, dresses and one piece type of clothing but y'all know if y'all know me i like jumpsuits so when it comes to actually putting together an outfit i'm like mm, i don't know what to do 
I don't even know what I think I'm gonna be doing, so I don't know. <sighs> what should I do? Should I take it? Should I not? Because we got one, two, three, four. We're really almost there to our goal of doing a whole one week, but I don't know. I haven't even packed my pajamas, y'all. I haven't even packed my pajamas. I will pack my makeup tomorrow. Oh, Lord. I'm just going to save this dress for another occasion, another time, because I feel like I'm doing too much. I want to take one elegant, sexy dress, and this is the one I think I'm going to take. It's this long, long black dress. I can't even see my foot. It's this, it's this long black dress. It's super cute. It's sexy. It's everything in a black dress, okay? I was thinking I could take, this is the shirt that I want to take to the airport, but I was thinking if I take these pants, I could also wear the same shirt with the pants. That way I don't have to get more shirts. What do y'all think? I think cute, simple. I'm thinking I take these for sure. This is kind of the vision that I had for my airport outfit. Just this two-piece velvet set. I like it, but I don't like the shirt showing. So I might just pack the rolling shirt. I'm trying to not waste suitcase space. So and then I'll be just carrying this on the plane because y'all tripping. If y'all think I'm going to put this in my suitcase, I'm just going to grab it like this because it's going to be cold. How about we do this long sleeve black top and then we put it over and see how that looks. That's what I love about v-necks is that you don't see all of that. So boom. And we're set. Remember when you guys are going to go on the plane and you're going to pass through security, you don't want to wear anything that has a lot of metal. I mean, you can. You're just going to have to take it off and all that. So I'm not saying look ugly. I'm just saying it's a lot of stuff you're going to have to do. So we need to pick out some heels, just one pair. The only thing that I'm concerned about, to be honest with you guys, is if I don't have enough shirts for the outfits that I want to do, I also want to pack leggings i will be taking only two pajamas my friend she has pajamas so if i need more pajamas i will just ask her so i have shorts and a tank top and then i have this other set but this one's a long sleeve i was calculating all the fits in my head and most of my fits would go fine with these sandals but for example my purple dress is not gonna look good with these sandals so i'm like um bring out the bling so i'm gonna bring these these aren't heavy you guys these are fine and i also have a thing to put my shoes in so i will do that i will grab that big bag and for the one pair of heels i decided on these classic black sexy heels yeah we should be set with the shoes and i did decide i'm gonna bring those sneakers with me here's my little bag and i guess on the way back if nothing if i decide to put the shoes on the other side where i was showing you guys maybe i could put the dirty clothes in here and put them in there so go ahead and put that in there boom let's lock it in before i decide i want to take more stuff <laughs> or maybe should we put it in the middle no i think i'll put that in here before i forget i do also want to take just one pair of jeans i know that we do have our baggy jeans but i feel like they're jeans but they don't count like your classic jeans because you can wear this with anything just like the leggings. Now, as far as underwear and any other stuff, I'm making a pile right now of things that I will take and put in my suitcase tomorrow. I have a bonnet that I'll put in my suitcase tomorrow. I'm going to wear it tonight, so I can't put it in my suitcase now. I have boob tape. I can put that on the suitcase now, but I'm trying to put this in a bag. I got my underwears right here. doesn't look like a lot, but... I got plenty. And then one pair of socks that I'm going to put on the floor with inside the shoes that I'm going to wear. And then I'm going to take another pair. I don't want to pack these earrings that I just bought. It's going to be super cute. Got this little bag and I'm going to put most of my jewelry in here. I think I might take my Chanel in there. One pair of sunglasses. I don't want to take too much jewelry. I don't like to take a lot of jewelry. Especially not expensive jewelry when I'm traveling because I don't want to lose it and then if I lose it I'm gonna feel horrible about it. So I don't know. I don't like to. So really I'm just gonna take this bracelet. I'll take this bracelet and I'll take two necklaces. I'm not gonna bring any watches because I don't want to lose them. So I'm not gonna do it. I think all I'm gonna bring is this one gold and butterfly chain and then I'm gonna take a silver necklace and that's it. 
And as far as earrings go, I'm not going to take any earrings besides the ones that I'm going to wear. I'm going to pack my nail polish that I did for my toes. That way, if it comes off, I'm ready. Hopefully, I don't forget, but on the plane for entertainment, if I'm not too sleepy or even on the way back here, I'm going to bring my lovely Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be playing Animal Crossing. What games do you guys like to play on your Nintendo Switch? I love Animal Crossing, so I'm going to take my baby with me. But for now, I'm going to put it back there so it charges. I will not forget it. Making our way to the bathroom, toiletries and all that stuff. Number one, toothbrush. You will also need toothpaste. I'm going to take this as my daily moisturizer for my face. I'm going to take my deodorant. I'm going to take my micellar and my makeup remover. I do have eczema, so I am going to pack my steroid creams. And then I do want to go ahead and take this brush with me. So I can brush my hair out because this is perfect for whenever you get your hair done. I think that's pretty much it. The only thing that I would say is I need to go ahead and go to the store and get one of these. But a little size because this is too big. I will be taking kind of my everyday pads, I guess. I like to take these with me. I'm going to take a lot because I like a lot. So I will be taking my CeraVe cleanser soap here. I will pack my toothbrush, maybe some of my brushes. I don't know, I'll decide later, but I'm gonna leave this here on the counter. That way tomorrow I don't forget. Make sure you have your passport ready, all the documentation you may need. Make sure you check all the flight information the day before. That way, I don't know, you get something confused and you miss your flight. Plan accordingly, get there to the airport two hours before if it's international then I would suggest you get there a little bit earlier than that. I also suggest if you're flying, flying internationally, and even if you're not, please, please try to put a lock on your suitcase. That way nobody can steal anything that's in there, okay? Keep that in mind. And you might want to do a tag with your name on it. That way, if somebody tries to claim it's theirs, it can be like, that's my tag. Or, I don't know. I don't know. It's just other ways to identify your suitcase. This is where I like to put all my SD cards. So... I was just counting them to see if I had enough. Um, a lot of my SD cards are 128 gigabytes, so I think I should be good. But I have four different SD drives, just in case. I think I am going to take my computer with me. That way I can edit there. So I'm going to charge all four of the batteries. I'm actually using my other camera, which I'm going to leave here because it's too bulky. So I'm only going to take one camera. And I'm going to charge all of these. All right, you guys. So this is what I have so far. Over here, all this area, we mostly have just my everyday clothes that I will wear. Over here, we have my pajamas, the shoes. Over there, I have all my, my moisturizer and all of the toiletries. All right, you guys, it is the next day. So now I'm going to pack this. It's good to go. My makeup wipes, my makeup bag. I have my Nintendo Switch and this charger right here. I need to pack my computer. And that's pretty much it, you guys. The only other thing that I wanted to mention that I feel a lot of people forget to mention is make sure that if you're taking your credit card, any type of card that you use, make sure that you let your bank know. That way they don't deactivate your, your card thinking that it's some other person because, you know, they're used to you being where you live now, not in Jamaica. So... You know, just let your bank know. That way your card doesn't decline or... I mean, I'm not 100% sure how this works, but just make sure you let your bank know unless you're using cash. That is it, you guys. Safe travels, and I'll see you guys on my next video.